Eric Kitamura machine. We're back here at, uh, in Hove at Dugard. At two micron accuracy is a point I want to start with here. Okay. That's what these and this five axis machine is capable of achieving. Is this one of the big reasons why you sell a lot of these machines? I think it is. Um, it's not just the five axis, but that is their standard accuracy across most of the range. And in fact, they do have a smaller five axis machine called the Med Center with a 170 mil table that they're guaranteeing one micron positional accuracy. And this is positional accuracy across whatever the, the, yeah. the envelope? Across the full stroke on any of the models. Uh, most people work to a JIS standard which is over 300 millimeter travel but this is over the complete travel of the uh, machine. How do you think they manage to achieve that? Because it, it must come down to the mechanics, the build, the makeup of how it all goes together. Well if you look at their, um, their sort of specifications and their um, advertising it's all about this pure geometry that they, they work to uh, the machines are all hand built to um, an exact accuracy on the mechanical geometry of the machine before they apply the CNC control. And, and this is the go-to five axis machine from the Kitamura range isn't it? I know they go bigger, bigger than this too but just tell us about the model that we have here. This is the My Center uh, 4G which is a 400 uh, diameter table. It's got 60 tools as standard but can have a 100 tool option. Uh, we can offer it also with a, a pallet system, in fact this machine is going to have an Eroa system added to it which is going to be installed in the customer in the next few weeks. And is it is a BBT or is it a, uh, a different tool shank? Yeah, it's BBT which is the double contact system uh, with a 40 taper but it can be uh, HSK 63 if you prefer. Now it's very workable or it appears to be very workable, it's quite a low sort of centre of gravity here on this machine, easy to access and get in. They've thought a lot about the way they've laid the machine out haven't they? Yeah, well I think this goes back to the many years of experience they've had. I mean, they've been in the business of CNC machines for about 40 years now, so you know, over those years they've learnt all the different um, requirements of the customer and that's one of their biggest uh, sort of attractions really. And the accuracy is one thing, but what about the dynamics? When you see these things move, I mean, they're, they're incredibly fast but very agile, aren't they? Well, they are. Again, they're looking at very high production rates. This machine itself is 50 metres a minute rapid traverse. Uh, that's based on a roll-away system, but even on their... Um, boxway machines, they can offer 60 metres a minute uh, with a boxway dry system. And, yeah, I, I remember this from before, 60 metres a minute, but the boxways have, they have two guideways, don't they? Or, or is it four, so they've got a double support mechanism? Uh, it's not the number of guideways, they have a double ball screw. And what they do, instead of having one very large ball screw, they have two smaller ball screws that can give you the thrust that you need, but also the high speed that you need as well. Uh, and when we're talking about speed, a lot of that comes down to the control. Now tell us about what, what the, uh, I mean, it's the, it's the aromatic control here, but what's behind it, and is that responsible for the agility and the performance that we talk about? It is. Um, what's happened, uh, I think, along with a few other of the Japanese manufacturers, uh, Akitama have standardised on a uh, Mitsubishi-based control. Uh, it's very, very high power in terms of processing speed, something like, I think, 2,500 block look-ahead. Uh, 3,000 block a second um, processing speed so it's incredibly um, agile in that respect and also it can give you full five axis capability without any extra software it is, is fully capable. And, and if you were to take a, a, a kind of a general run of the mill five axis machine would you say that it's that that's twice as fast or the processing is twice the look ahead is there any way we could sort of uh, you know quantify it to, to a degree? I would say, depending on the control, but um, against most of our competitors, we're about double the processing speed that our competitors have, okay. which results in the you know, better service finish and uh, quicker cycle times, of course. Which is critical in, in UK manufacturing these days. Everybody's after and chasing yes, parts yeah. uh, to come off machines faster. Are you carrying these in stock now, Eric? I mean, it, it's great for Dugard to have the Kitamura brand, isn't it? It is. Um, we've got machines in stock, as you can see. We've got this machine and the 500 horizontal at the moment. We've got more machines coming in in the next couple of months. But the other good news is that Kitamura have got a big stock of machines in Europe right up to the one metre pallet uh, five axis machine. Uh, would there be engineers watching this that are thinking this is out of their league and out of their reach? And, and if, if they were thinking that, how would you address that comment? Uh, I think that wouldn't be the case really. It's, uh, I mean, the machines are very capable, sorry, comparable to uh, uh, the German uh, machines that are on the market. And in some cases, a uh, lower cost than uh, German competitors so you know I think it would be worth a look for most of our, our customers. Good stuff available in stock here at Kitamura five axis machining centre and of course if this machine in itself uh, doesn't look uh, maybe or have the capacity that you're thinking then talk to Dugard because there is plenty of other options within the range available from stock as Eric said thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you Paul. Yeah.